<laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> All right, today we're going to do a little security on the homestead, right? <clears throat> I have a, a barn door, and I'm going to show you guys this hardware that helps make our barn just a little more secure. You might not have ever even seen anything like this, so that's why I'm showing it to you. I remember before we moved up here from the city, I didn't I had no idea. And then when I went to figure out these barn doors and how to keep them closed, I was kind of scratching my head. And then I had to, you know, get my education on. And that's what I'm doing for you guys right now. So this is my barn door right here. And you'll notice there's no handles on it, right? Which is what I like. I mean, you know, because with no handles on it, uh, it makes a thief think about five different ways how he has to get inside of it which is already going to cause more noise and more problems with a handle you know you could possibly bust it or get into it or pick it or uh, pry it and with this here it's a nice clean outside so you don't have any handles to mess with or anything to worry about so well that sun's coming out today i don't even have my jacket on y'all it's like 50 degrees let's go inside what the door looks on the inside here now what i did do as I put this foam up here, I'm going to have to come up with a little better way of keeping it secured. Just kind of screwed it up there. Maybe I just need a few more screws. See that gap up there? So that's allowing a lot of cold air to come into the shop, right? So I am going to fasten that up there just a little better. But so far, it's working really good. And these are just the uh, pool tubes, right? Like the kids use. Noodles or something to call them. I just grabbed them from the grandkids. <laughs> it's winter time. They're not using them. So we'll have to repurpose and reuse them and then pick them up some more when it gets, gets uh, springtime. Just want to add a little more strength to the hole here. Good. Ran out of the pool noodles, but what I plan to do is run a couple on the side and that'll really close this door off really good because I want to keep all my machines and my grease and my fluids and all my, I got liquid nail, all that stuff is in here and it's not good to get that stuff frozen. So I want to keep it a good temperature in here and with the spray foam inside like I did, you know, all over the place, it makes it airtight. So I'm off to a good start. So I just got to button up a few little things. And that'll be a real nice shop area. They make several different ways. You could probably secure this door. And this is probably just one of them. Right? So wherever your area is, that sun blasting it. Wherever that area is might be dependent on what kind of materials you have available, right? So maybe the stores around your area, they know what works good. So they order what works good in that area. And you go to another area and you're like, yeah, I need some uh, hardware stuff for the door on the barn and blah, blah. And they hand you something totally different. <laughs> So everything's relevant, you know what I mean? I'm just showing you guys what's going on here, but these things are pretty slick and they really pull the door tight up to the barn, right? But you gotta install them properly. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Now it's called a jam latch with a seven inch hook, right? And that's gonna pull that door up to the building and that way you can't get nothing inside the sides to do any shimmy in and it just makes for a better seal. And then I showed you guys the foam that I put on the top. I'm actually going to put some foam around the sides as well. That's really going to seal up this uh, shop here, right? Got a little My Buddy heater in here, which I haven't had to use yet. And we've been down to 15 degrees and we even had some zeros for a couple days. And I didn't even turn on the water in the water room. If you guys are new around here, we actually live off grid with no public utilities in a log cabin that we built in 90 days from wood from the forest. And we live 100% off rainwater, right? And I didn't want to put our rain catchment in the ground because I didn't want to have to service it in the ground. Plus, then I would have to pump it out of the ground. Okay. So when I designed my system, I designed gravity fed rainwater. So we live 100% off rainwater. It's above ground. And what I've done is sectioned off a part of this barn and I've got a whole video on what I did uh, inside with the foam and everything to make it totally secure. I can actually heat it with a candle. 
right? So we're doing really good with the water situation now. For years, it was a struggle. And two years ago is what, you know, snapped me. Uh, we had a really cold spell for a long time, and I just had the tin in there. And I had a stove going, a kerosene heater, a buddy heater. I mean, I was really putting the heat in. Because we got down, it must have been like, I don't know, like four, five, six, ten degrees below zero, almost 12, 15 below zero Fahrenheit. And that was like for a, over a week, like almost two weeks. And that's not really normal for us around here. We have this kind of weather where it can get really cold for a while. You might get some snow. It'll stay cold, maybe a week, 10 days or something, you know. Uh, but normally the, it's kind of hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. So like now we're in the 50s. Uh, two days ago, it was like 15 or 20 degrees for a high, and then maybe tomorrow or in the next couple days, you know, because we're in January, February, the weather's awful changing. So that's what happens. So. But inside of this box here, you got uh, a hook, right, that you're going to put on the, there's a piece here that goes on your uh, door, right, that this hook goes into. And then this is a frame mount. So this goes on the door frame or the barn door frame, okay? And I'm gonna put all this stuff on right now and show you how it goes and then we'll latch it up and I'll show you how it latches up and everything. Another nice thing about the latch is that it's pretty versatile, right? You can put it anywhere on the barn uh, door that you want. Like I've known some fellas, they'll put one up here and then they'll put one down at the very bottom. So that gives them extra security, right? So that would make a lot of sense if you really want to get it really good and tight. Right now, we're just going to put one in the middle here, and that draws the door in pretty good. I'm not going to have any problems or worried about it, you know what I mean? Looks like I'm in some kind of an ice cave or something. <laughs> All right, I'll show you how this uh, door thing goes, because I've already got this on here. I'm actually replacing ones that were on there that I've bent up and messed up over time. And uh, they've been here a pretty long time. And I'm going to clear off this hole here where the foam got it. And you can see the foam guy, he sprayed over the top of that. So we're going to get that cleaned out. And then we'll attach the new bracket to the frame here. But this will, this will stay. I don't have to worry about replacing that. All right. That's good and cleaned out. Now we'll secure it to the wall here. And it comes with the hardware. It's got three screws in here and then a nut that you put on the back side. I'll show you how that goes as well. What you're gonna do is you're gonna screw this into the receiver until you get to where the door is tight when you draw it. And then we'll give her a test. And there is such a thing as too tight, right? So you don't want to have it too tight. Gonna be it right there. Well, that's pretty tight. That's what you want though. It really closes up that steel. I still might need to put a little foam piece here like I did up there, but with this proper door, uh, you know, puller on here for these barn doors, 
Really makes a big difference. Really sucks that door in. That's pretty tight though. I got the nut on here, I uh, thread it through the back, and now what I'll do is I'll tighten this nut up to butt up against here, and that'll stop it from moving. And then this will hook right into the hole there. So I gotta tighten up this nut right here. So now I have that nut tied up against that shaft, see? Pull her down. That is very secure. See? Big difference. All right, let's do the other side. I am really happy with the way that seals the door up. There's a big difference. Here's the other side without the fix. <clears throat> Even though that other side's drawn in tight, you can still see how that wind could come through there. Now you can see the line around that is totally closed off. So now we'll have some good wind security and that other kind of security. Barn secure. And I showed you guys about the door latch thing. Jam latch for your barn doors. And actually I'll tell you guys this, those were pretty hard to come by. I went to a couple different hardware stores and normally around here those things are on the shelf. Those are a little hard to come by. Had to go to like three different places, finally scored some, so. Now you see how they go on, now you know what they're all about. Hey, uh, Stacy's birthday is coming up too, right? So make sure you guys watch the next video. I got her something that I'm gonna put together here after I get this video guy up for you guys. I'm gonna go work on her uh, present, right? So she's been on me a long time about this. And uh, while she's gone today, cause today's Tuesday, I'm gonna put them together and have them all waiting here for when she comes home and then I'll do the video about putting them together and then when she gets home, I'll get the reaction. <laughs> you guys will really enjoy that one, all right? Thanks for stopping by the homestead. That's all I got for you today. Just basically securing that barn door. Worked out pretty good. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Hit the thumbs up on the way out. Really helps the channel. And that's uh, no cost. Just a simple action of kindness. All right? See you guys on the next video. Thanks. Have a great day. This video was brought to you by Plain and Simple Chocolate Tea from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. The weather outside is frightful, a cup of chocolate tea is so delightful. Made from the husks of roasted cacao beans, it has a chocolatey aroma, yet tastes like an herbal tea. This beverage is rich in mood-enhancing theobromine, the perfect replacement or addition to your morning cup of coffee. You can find it at offgridwithdougandstacy.com. Plain and simple chocolate tea makes me happy.